In December 2016, fear and uncertainty engulfed over 120,000 encroachers on Namamve Forest Reserve in Wakiso and Mukono districts as the Minister of Lands ordered them to vacate the land to pave way for the commencement of the Malaba Kampala Standard Gate Rail, Kampala Jinja Express Highway, Bukasa Inland Port and the Namamve Luzira Power Lines constructions. Namamve and other five parishes stretching from Wakiso to Mukono districts were way back in 1984 declared a central forest reserve and hence any occupant is not to be compensated even if they obtained a leasehold certificate. Today, the Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Betty Amongen, revealed that the ministry is to cancel 25 land titles in the area without any compensation to the claimants. Government has therefore <laughs> taken the decision and directed the Office of Titles to exercise the powers under Section 91 of the Land Act to cancel certificates of title that were wrongly or illegally obtained. So far, a total of 25 titles have been identified and notice of cancellation has been issued to those individuals and companies and cancellation will not attract any compensation by government. The minister explains that some of the occupants who had been resettled there, most of whom are veterans, will be resettled elsewhere. There, in those areas, there are veterans. There are people we call veterans who are settled there. There are some other people who are settled there. And they appeal to government that they have nowhere to go because their level of, of income is not certain. That one also, we have taken a position that there are those that will be relocated because the law allows for resettlement when you agree. So there's a category that we have uh, indicated, they have already met the president. That category is not the category of those holding titles. Some of the occupants had started to process land titles to enable them claim compensation. However, the minister has ordered Wakiso and Mukono district land boards to stop the issuance of these titles. The applications that are currently before Wakiso district land board are not yet submitted for titling, are uh, to, uh, to be rejected for the same reasons while those who had completed survey and were issued with the deed plans but had not submitted their application to district land board are advised not to do so because the application will not be entertained. This instruction has already been given to Wakiso District Land Board as a government uh, policy and directive. Section 44.4 of the Land Act directs that government or local government shall not lease out or otherwise alienate any natural resource, hence the occupants on the land in question are only seen as encroachers whose settlement is illegal as far as the law is concerned. This report was compiled by Rachel Nachuala for Urban TV.